feminists can sometimes be so f feministic that they want to be a man. I'm thinking men and women are equal, but they're not the same. Yeah, I like that. Hi, I'm Shine Reynolds, and I'm still on the lookout. I've had some good dates. I'm liking my views, like, do you know what I'm saying? It's all good right oh, now. Ah, charmer, isn't ya? And I've had some bad dates. How do you think you've done on the date? I don't really give a shit, I'm not gonna lie, bruv. Where are all the decent men? Not in my DMs, that's for sure. You get me, I feel like I'm rolling with the man then. What's going on? Bye, fives! It seems like a lot of men don't know how to treat a lady. I'll just manhandle everything. You need to start putting a chest in chess and in the nap, like, jeez. Will I have better luck this season? What would you do if my ex was after you? He can have you. Let's find out. This is grilling. My name's Ty Mitchell, and I'm here to have a date with Cheyenne. Um, she wants to grill me. We're on my boxer, so we're used to the heat. We used to being grilled, so I'm not nervous. Excited. Intrigued. Yeah, she can ask me whatever she likes. Whether I get put off by what she asks, it depends what she asks and how she asks it. I think I like a classy woman with decorum, so there's ways of going about things. But we'll see how it goes on and I'll know after if I get put off or not. No, I don't date. It's not, it's not something I do. I'm quite recluse when it comes to things like that, so a bit out of my comfort zone, but Pressure makes diamonds, as they say. Yeah, always open to a relationship. If you find the right person, then that's the ultimate goal. Nobody wants to be single forever, do they? So if you find someone that you connect with, then yeah, 100% a relationship some goods. Are you ready? Yeah, born ready. Come on, that's what we do. Born ready, any situation, anything in life, we're ready. Hello. Hello. Hi, you all right, yeah? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. good. What's your name? Ty. Ty, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Cheyenne. Nice to meet you. No, he seems really cute. It's clean, looks clean. Where are you from? I'm from Derby. Do Derby? You know, do you know what that is? Um, no, where is it? It's like East Mids, so it's like in between, like near Nottingham. Oh, really? Yeah, so why Nottingham yourself? Oh, um, not too far, I'm like Essex. <laughs> not Essex, no, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. Do you think I sound like No, that? you don't though. You don't, you don't, you don't. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, she's a beautiful girl. She seems kind, she seems polite, so yeah, good, good impression. Ty, tell me about yourself. Um, I'm a boxer. Yeah. And that's all I've ever really done, to be honest. So I'm a boxer. I'm 31 years old. Oh, I love a boxer. What about yourself? I create content. Um, I do charity events. I spend time with my friends, my family, like the usual. What, what do you do for fun? Um, I do a lot of sports, so I play golf. Um, play tennis, I do a lot of sports. I hang out with my family, I'm a really big family person. Oh, are you? Yeah, so I like to spend time with my family. Yes, he's a family man! Um, and I also run a charity. Oh, cool. um, so yeah, we've got, we've got that in common. Nice, tell me about your charity. Um, it's called Get Heard, um, and it's just about street violence and stuff that's in the street, and trying to show people that there's another way to live life, and do you know what I mean? There's more avenues and I feel like, especially today with social media, certain things are glorified and if it, and especially the youth that are quite influenced, they might try and follow the crowd with certain things, you know, easily influenced when you're younger. Yeah. So I'm just trying to stop people going down the wrong way because I feel like everybody's got a talent and they, not, they don't always fulfill it. And I feel like everybody's got a talent and a passion for something. So I'm just trying to steer them into the right direction instead of the, the roads and that. I really love that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I love this. Big green tick, absolutely. What influenced you to do that? I've, obviously I've got a past myself and I feel like I made mistakes in the past myself. There's things I've done that I'd regret, I'd like to change, but I can't. So I thought, well, if I can't change my past, what's the best thing to give, to lead the best future I can? And I feel like if I can change even one kid's life by trying to steer them to the right path, then I find that quite fulfilling. So I'm quite passionate about it um, and I'm trying to push it through my boxing as well. So I think my boxing can help definitely shed a light on things. And uh, I just feel like just trying to put some positivity and some good things back into the world. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, thank um, you. Do, are you not drinking? No, I don't drink, no, no. You don't drink? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm not gonna drink. I don't <laughs> wanna drink. <laughs> no, it's fine, you can drink. No, it's fine. I, no, I won't drink if you're not drinking. <laughs> I think she's liking what I have to say, you know. I feel like uh, we agree on a lot of stuff, so. Like McDonald's, she's meant loving it, you get me? Oh, he seems really nice. Um, how come you're single? Good question. <laughs> I'm not sure, not by really any like, um, I'm not trying to be single. I'm quite picky in particular on the kind of woman that I like. Um, and I just haven't come across them yet and I just don't want to force anything. I'm not somebody that forces things, do you know what I mean? So I feel like when the right one comes along, I'll be open to it. But until then, I'm not just going to settle 
because I feel like when you settle, it's never going to work in the long run. And I try and invest properly if I'm going to do it. Like that. So, what do you look for in a woman? I don't. So, <laughs> looks wise, I don't really have a type. Oh, I not? I, no, I don't have a type. Looks wise, I literally find beauty in all women. I feel like it's more on how they hold themselves and how they act. Um, I like kind, kind women. Do you know women that are just genuinely? You can tell you're not f- trying to put on a persona for to attract the man. You're actually genuinely kind. You care about your friends, your family. I don't want nothing from a woman. So, how much money she has doesn't concern me. But I'd like a woman that's has goals and aspirations in life. Yeah. Um, so that's important to me because obviously I have goals and aspirations and I'd like to meet someone so then we can build an empire together. Um, I still wouldn't want nothing from you, I'd take care of everything because I'm quite traditional like that, I'm a man. But at the same time is if my woman had wanted like a business or something, I'd help her fulfill her dreams also because she's gonna have dreams outside of the relationship, her personal dreams. I like that, so because you, leave, uh, you believe in traditional, do you think that puts pressure on you to then be a man? I don't think it's pressure because I don't know any different. I just feel like that's what a man should do. And I, and I also think that's what a woman will find a man attractive. I feel like I'm all for equal rights with men and women, but I feel like people, I think sometimes feminists can sometimes be so f- feministic that they want to be a man. And I'm thinking men and women are equal, but they're not the same. Yeah, I like that. And a, and a woman w- will be submissive to a man if he, um, follow a man if he knows where he's going. I feel like a lot of men don't have direction these days, so they don't know where they're going. And as a woman going to follow a man that doesn't know where she's going? Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, preach that. <laughs> and obviously I treat more women like a, like a princess. If she's your woman, I don't, it's cool being, having this bad boy image. I get that to a certain extent, but you should still treat your wife like a queen. Yeah, absolutely. The way I see it is you should treat your woman. I want to treat my wife so good that every woman is jealous of her how good I treat her. That's my plan. Do you know what I mean? That's how I see it. I, I don't like this plan. He talks a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want, I don't like, you see if people are laughing at your girl behind her back, you know, certain people and they could be acting a bit mad when they're not with a girl. I don't want that. I think that's disrespectful because you wouldn't treat your friends like that. You wouldn't have no one laugh about your friends. You shouldn't have no one laugh at your woman. Yeah, listen, that's what I mean. No one's making my, do you think I'm making my man look stupid? Yeah, exactly. Like, no. That's what you need. So what do you look for in a man? You know what? I look for just stability. Yeah, I look for honesty, loyalty, and that's it really. I, d- I don't look for too much, but I just kind of feel like everything does complicate it when like you try a date online or you try meet people because I feel like everyone comes with like their their persona, like this is who I am and this is my image kind of thing. But yeah. when you actually get to it, it's hard to find just people. Like so many people lack just basic like skills, like even just like. Honesty, for example, it's not a skill, but yeah. so many people just lack being honest, you know, and that's why I'm just like, these are basics. Like, yeah. I shouldn't glorify this. I shouldn't have to look for this. This should just be, like, standard, you know, so I find it hard. But I like funny as well. I'm, I'm quite, like, serious and normal, but then once you get to know me, I'm goofy as anything. Like, yeah. I'm, like, goofy. And I like it when, you, when, when my partner would be goofy as well, because you should be, like, children around each other, because life's quite serious, so I feel like, obviously, there's time to be serious, but you should be like childish with your spouse and you know what I mean jokes yeah. and like that stuff yeah I like that yeah. what would be like the what's the best thing you've done to impress someone on the date I don't really date you know do you know I really don't date um, at all so this is like I'm a comfort zone a bit don't date why are you here I don't know I just try and be myself do you know what it is I feel like naturally as human beings when we go on a date you always want to give the best version of yourself because you're not going to let them know all your bad things because it might put them off that's probably why people lie a lot <laughs> yeah, okay. You're always gonna like, you're always gonna look just better than you always would if you're in a relationship. You're not trying to try and look your best twenty four seven. But I feel like if you're just genuinely yourself, then there's nothing that can go wrong down the line because you can only keep a persona for so long. Yeah. I've learned that from myself in the past. So what's the worst thing you've done to try and impress a woman? Do you do up all the li- lifestyle and stuff? Um, no, not really. Last nice watch. <laughs> <laughs> His diamonds are blinding me. I mean, I have a nice watch on, but like if you can see, like I've only got like this is from. Zara, I think, maybe. These jeans are from Zara. I don't, I try not to. There was a time where I was really always, because I'm quite insecure, so I have insecurities, and, I've, and I'm trying to combat them at the minute. And I feel like one of them is um, money equaling worth and value. So yeah. I'm trying to like wear less designer, not wear designer, because that's not a representation of me. I'm a good person with or without designer. I like that. Yeah, I'm just being me, you know, I'm just being myself. So if she likes it, she likes it. If she don't, she don't. But have you ever done anything on a date to try and impress someone? I would just do my best foot forward, but really it's not that impressive when I look and I think when you get glammed up and it's like, but they're just going through like your aesthetic. Yeah. So do they actually like you? Probably not. They just want to yeah. like have sex with you. Uh, I feel sorry for women. Women have got it hard because I feel like 
they really can't find out a man's intentions because they want to know if a man wants to sleep with them or not. But even men will even play a persona all the way up until and until they slept with them and then you'll only really know their true intentions. So it's kind of difficult for women to try and have to navigate through if a man's serious or not. Yeah. Me personally, I don't care about a woman's looks. I've had what I believe really beautiful women try and date me and I'm not interested because I can see how you act outside of that and that's not going to work. It's deeper than looks. Everyone's good looking these days, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not hard to find somebody good looking. You have to have something more than that deeper, do you understand? Ty, when was the last time you had sex? <laughs> the pools, yeah? A while ago. How long's a while? A long while ago. I have a past and I'm completely different now. The man you see now is not the man I always used to be, but I had to go on a lot of... There's a lot, I went on a lot of healing, a lot of trying to find myself as I grew up. I found religion, that helped me a lot. I went through a lot of pain emotionally with certain things and I felt like that made me look at myself a lot and I feel like it's hard to sometimes have a look in the mirror and have an honest conversation with yourself. But that's what I had to do to, go, to try and grow. I like um, I'm a Muslim now, so we don't really do this boyfriend, girlfriend thing. We get married, it's marriage first. But we can date, we can go out with them, etc., meet them. But this boyfriend, girlfriend thing is, yeah, we don't really do that. So, how, so what's like the dating process for you then? There's a big like misconception that, oh, you can't see women and you can't be, like as long as you're in a place, say if we went to a restaurant, that's fine because we're, there's people that, when it's when you're two are left alone, oh, okay. that's where you might fall into sin. Um, but no, we can date and then we can speak and then if we want to get married, we can get married. Oh, wow. it's quite, but marriage is quite simple. In, in Islam compared to how it is today. I think even yesterday in our grandparents' time, they got married a lot younger. And if you look at our grandparents' era, most of our grandparents are together, or people's grandparents stay together, and you don't really hear that many people's grandparents, but then one generation less, our parents, a lot of people's parents ain't together. Yeah. And now our generation, people are just having kids and not even never been together. So I'm more of an old school person. I feel like you should keep the traditions good and treat a woman with respect and try and it's, the people are so easy to quit these days. They go through a lot of um, mm. difficulty in relationships and next minute they want to get split up. There's no working through things anymore. And I don't agree with that. Are you good with communicating then? I think communication is single-handedly probably the biggest key in a relationship because I've learned this from past relationships. Without communication, something quite small can be quite become quite big just because you both took a different perspective on the same thing. And I feel like if you're honest and open with each other and you love each other, you can work for nearly anything, but it's all about honesty and, and um, transparency. This is a good date. Mm -hmm. Do you think social media is a reason why people don't work through things now? 100%. I think people don't use social media, they let it use them. And I feel like... Ooh, I like <laughs> yeah, they do, they don't use it. like. I, I was even myself, where I was always on there and I'd be looking through stuff all day and I'm, st and I'm still on there a bit too much. But I still try and combat it's like, I try and use it, I go on there, I post what content I want to post for my boxing or whatever it is, and then come off so I can use it, I don't let it use me. Social media, man, use social media, don't let it use you, man, because it's a, it's a dark rabbit hole, man. I was in the barbershop once and a man actually said something, and an old school man said something really funny, it always stuck with me, he said, you lot don't even speak to each other anymore. I said, turn off your Wi-Fi and turn on your wife. And I thought that was like a gem. And I really agree with it. It was a good one. <laughs> Big up the old man. <laughs> Years ago, when people was going through hard times, they didn't have hundreds of people trying to DM them that they yeah. could just run off to when things got hard. And chime in their two pens. Exactly. So you have people chiming in, and then you have men will be in your missus's inbox. So anytime she's going through a bad time, she's got other men that she could rely on and vice versa. With it. And I just feel like, yeah, it's not, I don't, I think if you use it right, social media is a good thing, but as long as you don't let it use you. How about, have you had long-term relationships? Yeah, I've had one long-term relationship and I've had like a couple of exes. Okay, what would your exes say about you? Depends which one you ask them when. <laughs> like I said, I went for a journey myself of um, having to, like I said, have an honest conversation with myself. I feel like I let a lot of childhood traumas shape who I was and I just thought, you know what, it's time to break the cycle, I can't let this go on to the next generation of my kids and stuff like that. So I had an honest conversation with myself. My exes, I think they would say I'm a good person though. They might have said I had issues and I had a real issues with trusting and like taking to women because I have real bad trust issues. Um, but I think they'd say he's a good person and his heart's in the right place. And I was always right to them. I never like, do you know what I mean? I was never abusive to them or nothing like that. I've never ever done that to any female in my life. You seem like a good person. You I feel try. Like you've gone on a good journey. I try, I try. I definitely, everyone can be a bit better, but I try. What would your ex say about you? Oh, I'm, I'm really good. <laughs> I'm really cl not close like that, but I'm on really good terms with all of my exes. 
Um, yeah, they'd actually speak. I wish my exes could actually speak about me because they all speak really highly of me. Okay, so. that's good. That's good. <laughs> How would you feel about me going to dinner with my ex? With well, me and you together? Yeah. No, nah, that's wild. Dinner with your ex? Are you mad? <laughs> yeah, not my idea, mate. Not on my watch. No chance. Even if your intentions are strictly pure, I could bet my bond dollar. And if you tried to say, I don't come back to mine, we'll get together, he'd say yes. It's not your intentions, it's his intentions. Even if his intentions was the same, I, if you switched and said to him, I'll oh, come, let's go back to my and let's just do it one last time, you'll go. Because it's just a psyche of a man. You was, once, you was once attracted to each other. So you shouldn't even be putting yourself in a situation like that, I, I feel. And I feel like it would be disrespectful towards me and I would never do it to you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and if you spend too much time with somebody alone, it's a psyche of a male and a female. Even if, if you know people, they might work together for years, they had no attraction to each other. But when you spend too much time with someone, att attraction, can start to bubble again. So yeah, I wouldn't find that acceptable. Yeah. How would you feel if I went on, if, I, if it was the opposite way around? I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go and meet my ex for dinner. I'm quite comfortable with who I am as person, as woman, as someone's partner. And I think it just would depend on like the kind of relationship that you had with your ex, if that makes sense. Because I feel like I never really elaborate on why I'm friends with my exes and stuff. And it's, okay. you know, like a lot of them helped me through trauma. And so we have this, it's like just this respect for each other. Like they saved me through hard times. And so that's why for me, it, it would be a shame to walk past them and just not really acknowledge them. So yeah. it's a lot different. It's not like everyone else's relationship where they've just broken up. Okay. Like my, it was, it's a lot deeper than that. So that's why. I understand that. I feel like you wouldn't, if you see me in the street, you wouldn't expect, I wouldn't expect you to just walk past them. Even if I was with you, do you know what I mean? You could say hello, but I feel like you, there's, you can still speak. Maybe if the message on social media is everything okay, you message, but yeah, that's fine, thanks. And then done. But I feel like going to dinner and it's open up something that doesn't need to open up. I think like it's a bit too intimate. How many women have you slept with? Listen, like I said, yeah, <laughs> I had a past. Yeah. But that's not a dictation of who I am now. Why are you avoiding eye contact as you say this? <laughs> because I'm trying to think like, I've not slept with that, well, I've not slept with loads, but I've not slept with like, not loads either. He's lying. So. But now I don't do that. I, I don't do none of that now, so okay, I keep but it. If we had to say... A number? Yes. Quite a high one. But like I said, as I ordered me, let's talk about the numbers. What's I don't high know, I don't, I don't know that, I don't know. for me, like... <laughs> I, I, how many men have you slept with? No, listen, I'm asking you first. <laughs> yeah, but I know you're not going to answer either. <laughs> when you don't want to talk about how many you slept with, it's never a good sign. So it's I, might, I might answer, I might do a little truth bomb. Okay, I slept with three people. How many people have you slept you with? Slept with three? Yeah. Three is not high. Yeah, see, you're lying. Are you lying to me? See, now, three, like, man. I said I wanted an honest man and here you are lying to me. No, nah, it's more than three, but I just don't, I just don't think there's... Um, I told you this. I, I, the, the gods on the truth is I don't actually know. Uh, not then. Depends what you can a lot. How many people have you slept with? Yeah, same. Yeah? <laughs> a lot, yeah? I said a lot. No! <laughs> a lot, oh, same, yeah? No, do you know what? I think it's like, what is your thoughts on that? Women that have slept with like loads of men then? I don't try and judge nobody on the past. I feel like everybody deserves a chance of redemption. And I feel like if you've lived a certain life and you want to change, I feel like anybody should be given a chance to change. Would I like it? I, I wouldn't like it personally from if I was, but would I be completely against it? Like I said, I always try and give people the chance. Do you know what I mean? I think it depends on how she is as a person when I meet her, because I feel like anyone can have a past. Like I said, I'd rather meet someone that hadn't slept with a lot of people, because I wouldn't like to be there and like, say if me and you've gone out and be in the room, and it's not even an insecurity in me that oh, I've gone slept with your missus. It's not really an insecurity. It's the fact is, as men, we like to feel like respected and we like to feel like a man likes to feel like that, like a man. Yeah. As a man, we have pride and things like that. And I feel like if you're with a female, she should only increase that and make you feel good and yeah. think, yeah, no one can say. And I feel like if everyone in the club slept with it, it kind of decreases that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He, his wife should make him feel proud and vice versa. You have more pride as a man when men haven't been with her, but men are going out sleeping with a lot of women. So they have to also hold themselves accountable. Like if men really valued women as much as they say they do, then they wouldn't sleep with just women so pointlessly. Like. Men sleep around, but like women can as well. But do you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's more likely you've slept with a hundred people than I have. But you're saying that men value women; they want you. To, you want to be the one that's proud and hasn't had a woman that slept with anyone. Like I said earlier, men and women are equal, but they're not the same. And I, that's not me saying that men should be able to sleep with loads of women. And that's not what I'm saying. I feel like, like I said, we have different psyches. So like most, if you like, I can imagine if you go up to a hundred men and ask them, would you mind how many? people your partner slept with, 99 of them would say yeah, or a lot of them would say yeah, I'd care. 
and most women wouldn't care. That's because men and women, even though they're equal, the psyche is different. When you say, yeah, the, if they respected women while they're sleeping with so many, I feel like men respect women that respect themselves. Genuinely, I find. If a woman's just giving up easy, a man won't have respect for her, so he won't treat her with respect. But if a woman respects herself, saying, no, I'm not just going to feel up to you, I'm only going to sleep with you if I've got feelings for you, if we're together in a relationship, he will treat her with respect. But if you've not got respect for yourself, then how's a man going to respect you? I try and treat a woman with respect regardless. But I understand when women get treated disrespectfully because you don't even respect yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but then would, would it not be the same? Like, if a man's just trying to sleep with me, I'm be like, do you not have respect for yourself? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I feel like if a man's just trying to sleep with you, he should have, yeah, he should have more self-respect. That's why I feel like marriage is always better. Then you know your intentions. You should always be commit to each other before you sleep with each other. And then all this wouldn't be happening. I like that. See? <laughs> Have you got a bit of an accent? It's like a bit of a twang. Derby, I don't know. I feel like we don't have an accent. So I feel like we speak normally, but I feel like everyone else has an accent. But I don't feel like you have much of a different accent to me, though. No, do you know what? If um, I drink, yeah. I get really common. Okay. I think. Like, all right, all right, love. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's a really good Is it? impression. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. He's grown on me. It's a bit of a dark horse. What got you into boxing? Um, so my dad was a professional boxer. So when I was I was young at the time, he retired when I was like seven, I think, or was I, I was either six or seven. He was a heavyweight though. I'm only a super middleweight, so I'm quite a bit lower. But then yeah, so when he retired from boxing, he set up his own gym called One Nation, and I started. I'm, so I started training when I was like seven, and then yeah, so I've just basically been in, and then obviously I turned pro. I did some unlicensed like semi pro boxing, and then yeah, I'm just going back into pro boxing again now. Wow. Yeah, so that's my boxing journey. But I look, I look, I really look to really put my um, my foot down this next couple of years. Really. Go in. go in, see what I can get, and then hopefully we'll get to the top. That's nice, nice, nice. So do you go clubbing and stuff? Yeah, sometimes. I shouldn't, um, but I do sometimes. Obviously, I just don't drink when I go. Um, but it's the older I get, it's just not for me. I'm normally the one to leave first, so oh, I might yeah. go, realise I'm not missing nothing, and then leave. But do you know what I do? I, cra I maybe I'm going to sound so odd, <laughs> but I just I crave peace so much. More than anything, Like people want all oh, these nice things and this and that. I just crave peace. So like I like to just say on a Sunday morning I like to like maybe go for a walk in the countryside because I'm like a real country bunking. Like my worst place to live is somewhere like London. I don't like busy places. I don't like loudness. I'm quite um, a calm, chilled out person. Maybe because of my profession and stuff. Maybe because it's quite intense my profession. I just like to, do you know what I mean? I like to spend a lot of time with my grandparents. Spend time with my son. I like to just do things that are just quite fulfilling inside. Do you know what I mean? And I just feel like clubbing and that doesn't fulfill me. Okay, so if, if I was trying to impress you, what would be the best thing I could do to take you on a date? Slide in the DMs, like, yo, baby lotion, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, I don't know, maybe, I, I'd, I'd rate, say if you was interested in me, I, like, I wouldn't find it point enough if you was to message me and stuff like that. I feel like some women think I'm not doing that. Like, I, I rate that. If you like someone, then let them know. I would let someone know if I like them. I feel like a first date, I don't like real serious first dates. Like, you know, when you just sat there, I like to do something, maybe go arcades, go bowling, I don't know, paint, but something kind of fun where you can kind of, it's not too serious and you can kind of have a fun day and get to know each other. But I'm guessing you're competitive though. So this yeah, is no, I'm not, I'm not letting you win nothing. No, I'm competitive. Yeah, no, I don't let <laughs> nobody win anything, whether it's a child, an old person. <laughs> if a child wants to race with me and say, oh, come on, let's have a running race, I'm running 4-4, four you you're not beating me. If you win, you've got to earn it. No, I won't. Yeah. I might let you win a point, but you're not going to win the overall game. So if you're getting smashed, I say, yeah, you can win a little, I'll let you have a little strike. But other than that, I'm coming back with four strikes. No, you're cheeky. Yeah, I'm not letting her win nothing. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think she's feeling me, you know. I think she likes me. I say that now, she better give me a high score. If she gives me like a six, I'm leaving the country. Go on. If I was to ask you on a second date, what would you say? Where are we going? Where do you want to go? Oh, we can go to an arcade so I can beat you. But then you're just not going to have a good date because you're not going to win. But okay, I'll tell you what, for this once, because you're special, I might let you win if we go to the arcade. So if I say let's go to the date to the arcades, what are you saying? Yeah, we'll go. You like that, yeah? Yeah, we'll go. Okay, then I'm going to keep you to that. All right, let's do it. All right then, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we'll see how the date goes, number two. So what do you teach your son? Like in what aspect? Like just in life? Yeah. I've tried to learn from whatever I've gone through as a kid and things that I've experienced and obviously my father and his grand. I think everything comes down and everyone, we can only try and do better, do better than what we've been taught. But I'm like, my mom had absolutely addicted to my son. Like he's like every atom of my being. I can't even explain it. Like he's my world. And I feel like 
even though my parents loved me and stuff, I wasn't really close. Like, I never got shown that kind of love going, like, I don't leave my son alone. I kiss him, like, I can't let, do you know what I mean? He's like six now and he's getting a bit annoyed with me. But I feel like it's good to show a lot of love and affection. And I just want him to be, and he is, luckily, he's such a nice kid. Like, he's dead kind, he's dead, like, he's quite mellow like me. I, I have him half the time. And okay. I feel like I am a good dad. When men are present fathers, I think it's so attractive. Like, there's nothing more attractive than the man just like hold himself accountable and stepping up to you know his kids and i'm the best that i can be but also i have to give props to his mum he's got such a good mum like we're not together but we co-parent well and she allows me to be the father i am by being easy with me i feel like i feel sorry for a lot of women that have baby fathers that are drama and vice versa i feel like if you love the kid i feel what we have in common is we love our kid more than anything so that gives us both the um the chance to be good parents and it works so well oh, yeah and he's got the best mom so i'd never knock her do you know what i mean she's she's a really good mom baby moms baby dads i feel like even that room's a bit derogatory You're the son of my mom i feel like people these days it's very toxic isn't it i feel like we should show love and respect especially these women when they do a good job with these kids you know what i mean with our kids so yeah i feel like it's they're not spoken about enough man we should respect and revere our women that's really amazing. Yeah. Like, it's really nice to hear as well, like, especially from a male's perspective, someone speaks so positively about that mother of their child. Because yeah. I find, like, you hear it too often, like, people are like, oh, baby mama drama and yeah. stuff like that. So it's very refreshing. I feel like when we first split up, there was obviously, there was a bit of back and forth and this and that. But then we very quickly came to the realisation is anything that we go through, we can't let that affect him. Because I, we think that children see nothing, but they see everything. Yes, they do. And we split up when he was really young, but even if we had an argument, it, we could slightly see a change in his behaviour, and it, we, we both just nipped it in the bud. And we've grown up as people, we're both young then, we've grown up now, and yeah, we co-parent really well. And I feel like men should ce um, celebrate women and let them know whether it be your auntie, your sister, your baby mum. Just because you're not together, it doesn't mean she's not a great mum to your child, and I feel like you should... And let her know, like, let her know you're a great mum, because women need to hear that. I'm, I'm men too. But I feel like they need to hear that and understand that we're respected because it's not an easy job being a woman, especially a mother. It's not an easy job. And I think after having kids, it made me appreciate what my parents had to go through because it's hard sometimes, you know what I mean? Especially as a single parent. My mum was a single parent of four and I just feel like I don't know how you did that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So no, I, um, I definitely respect her. Do you know how refreshing it is to actually hear a man speak so highly and positive about the mother of his child? Um, Ty, do you eat pussy? Yo. Wild. This is getting out of hand. This is to tame it in a bit. We need to tame it in a bit. So what I'm saying is this year, I feel like how we live in a very hypersexualized society right in a minute, and I feel like there's something sacred. I feel like there should be something kept sacred between what you do in a relationship. I feel like people just talk about it, blase, blase. It's even to the point where a lot of men don't even get excited in women in laundry no more because most women wear it to the club these days. So I feel like there's something special in keeping that sacred. Having said that, there's n whatever my woman would want me to do, I'm down for because I'm, I'm pleasing my woman in whatever aspect she needs pleasing, do you know what I mean? Um, because I wouldn't want her to want to find it somewhere else, first of all. And I'd also, I want her to think I'm the best she's ev ever, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm on. But getting into the details of it, I feel like you should try and keep it sacred between you and your partner. Don't worry what I'm doing in the bedroom, you get me? That's between me and my wife. You don't need to know that yet, you're not my wife. So when you, if you are, maybe one day you'll find that. Play your cards right, maybe one day you'll see. So yes then. So I'd do anything that my partner wants me to do. If that's what she's into, then maybe that's what would happen. Yes, choose one. Yeah, but it's, uh, it depends though. On? She can have the password to my phone, no problem. As long as I've got the trust to her that she needs to go into my phone to get something or do something, fair enough, go in my phone. But I'd have to trust that she's not going to go through my private messages with me and my friends because they, I might be having a conversation with my friend. They might be confiding in me or something or a family member or anybody. That's none of my partner's business. Yeah. Password to my phone? Yeah, nah, she probably ain't going to get that still, but she thinks she is though, so we're in. I think she is, when it comes down to it, I say, you know what, babes, I lost my phone, you know, I left, I left it at the gym, I'll get it for you tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think it's just a standard, because I feel like if someone gives you the password, like, I'd be like, oh, nothing to snoop. But if someone's, like, very defensive, yeah. I'd be like, what are you hiding? Yeah, exactly. Now, I think, uh, like I said, it just depends on the reason. And I just let her know. If I trust my wife or my missus and that, I'd just be like, look, you can have it, but there's certain things don't do, and I trust that she wouldn't go in there anyway. And I'd, I always give people trust until they break it anyway. 
That's how I try and live my life. It's okay. I don't mind, it's not that deep for me, what about you? Yeah, I don't think it's deep either. I think it all depends on the intention and I just think it's not that deep. Yeah. I think I like, so like, yeah. just because you like a picture doesn't mean I want to have sex with you, it doesn't mean I want to take you on a date, it doesn't mean some people might get like and immaturely think, oh, that person likes me. It's not that deep, it's a yeah. like on Instagram, it's Instagram, you okay. know what I mean? It's not it's really. It's mad though, because I find that when I'm really interested in someone, like I don't want to like anyone else's stuff. Yeah. Like, I just, you want that person to be like my person and only like their stuff. When I'm in a relationship, I don't follow I don't follow females on Instagram anyway. So the only females I follow on Instagram is if it's a work colleague or someone in the gym or a family member. I don't just follow females on Instagram like that. I used to, but I stopped doing it because I just thought there's no need for you to have me on there. And I feel like if I was in a relationship, I wouldn't be following females anyway. So I wouldn't have chance to like the pictures. Ah, see, I like that. See, smart. <laughs> <laughs> Men can learn a lot from him, you know. Yes, Ty. Am I? How am I feeling at the moment? No. Make a good match then, won't we? Yeah, apparently so. 100%. I'm an alpha male. Are you? Yeah, real alpha, really alpha. Really how alpha? Lion alpha. Yeah, lion. <laughs> really? Not just in the bedroom, just in life. That's <laughs> so why would you be? <laughs> just like in life though, I'm, I am definitely an alpha male. Yeah. But like not alpha, not like toxic alpha. Like the good balance. Yeah, the good balance of alpha, yeah. Yes, he has got the alpha energy that I like. Do you think you could dominate me, yeah? Light, light work. You see me light, light work? You see how tall I am? <laughs> <laughs> my box, I'm strong, so it's light. It's good then. Yeah, but in a nice way though, not in like a, do you know what I mean? Dick throw me around. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have to choose one? Yes for me, no for you. Why? Because <laughs> I see my woman as a princess. So when she's fighting around me, I feel like she's one of the lads. Like, yo, I feel like you're like proper, you're a princess, you're a queen. So then when you're doing that, it's gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it less attractive. Do you know what I mean? Oh. I know women fight like you're a human being, but I just find it as a, a kind of like a male attribute, just be like, what? So if I'm on a sofa with you and you're like lifting your leg up and fighting, I just be like. Oh, I just want you to be able to laugh with me. No, like I'll be like, first of all, you, that stinks. Second of all, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Farting around me? Are you mad? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not my wife. My wife's a princess. We don't do them things. But see me? <laughs> Every so often. Real man. <laughs> well, imagine if we were like in bed together, gonna be all sexy, and then if I just let one rip, would it ruin Oh, the, the whole... Oh. The Even if I did that, it would ruin the mood. I'd ruin it for myself. I'd be like, nah, I need to have a word with myself. Yeah, that's <laughs> the worst place to probably do it. But like, say if one slipped out accidentally in anywhere, like I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, you're a champ, like you're a human being, I just not I'd probably laugh as like, Trump. But when you lift your leg up and force one out next to me, that's not, yeah, I'm um, like, yeah. It's like, I don't... <laughs> what? Oh, wait a minute, God damn it! what the... Yeah, Dude, no. you just have to react like that in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not in it. Do you know what? <sighs> I say I do now. It used to be no. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. It, it bothers me a little. Yeah, it, it does. Like I said, I don't want to judge none on the past, but it would have an impact on how I saw them. And it's mad because society has a standard of a man and a woman and there's all this feminist stuff going on. Most men, if you, tell, if you ask them how many have you slept with, most of them are not really that bothered about telling you. But if you ask a woman, most of them don't want to tell you. And it's not fair, but women subconsciously know that that will affect how many people they slept with will affect their value as a woman. Because they think, you know, if I say I've slept with so many people, it's going to put them off me. And it's not fair. Because I agree it's not fair. It's like, what's the body count limit for you? I really don't know. To Are you be honest. Sure? You're just thinking. Yeah, I'm trying to think like. Know, how many has she been with? Let me know. Yeah. No, I'm trying. No, I'm not. I'm not thinking <laughs> that. I'm trying to think how many would I think, and I'd be like, mm. I don't know. Because do you know what it is? I think it's not so much to do with the number. It's to do with how many people can say it. Do you know what I mean? Like, say if I was out with her and all these, and if I was with someone, say if she lived in. I don't know, West Africa somewhere where I'd never met no one and she slept with a lot of people. I wouldn't care because I think you don't know her. That's more the reason what it is. It's not how many people she slept with, it's how does it make me look. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's more the thing, I think, for a male. Yeah, 100%, the body count thing, that's wild. If the body count's high, yeah. Like I say, I wouldn't like it personally anyway. It's a bit crazy that. Bigger numbers than me and that, wild. Yourself, what's too many for a man? Men sleep around a lot, but I think it's just at a point where, for me, if soon as someone's just said they've slept with over 100 people, it does sound a bit mad. 
Like I think even No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Well I think any I think even just like men even over fifty I think is crazy. Like realistically when we actually talk about energy exchange and the reality of it, like that is a lot. Yeah. Especially, and it depends as well, because if you've been in a relationship a long time, then you've only had like a year. How the hell have you slept with 50 people in one year? Yeah, But true. each to their own, whatever. 100%, no, I agree. I agree with you on that. I think, I, I've only, someone was talking to me about this energy, energy exchange the other day, and I, and I didn't really understand it. Um, but when people explain it to me, if it's true, I don't know if it's true or not, because I've not really looked into it, but that's, that's probably a reason why a lot of people are messed up. Yeah. They probably have a lot to do with it. And I think now, everyone's just messed up. I feel like men have treated women like crap for so long. They're now fighting back, thinking, yeah. right, if you do it, we're going to do it too. And it's just not good for anyone. Yeah. I think the problem that I personally find is with women today is they're trying to be like men. And yeah. that's taking away your strongest thing. Your beauty and your power is that like you're a woman. Because no matter what I do, I could never be like you are. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like you being a woman is your power. And I feel like because men and women have treated each other like shit so much, they just it's just like a free for an hour and it's just you do me dirty, I do you dirty. If someone does you dirty, this is what I find attractive in a female. If you get done dirty, instead of trying to do them back or get them back or slander them, say, you know what, you messed up, you've treated me like, I know I did you good, you've treated me wrong, but I'm, I know who I am as a person. And then you move on, heal, and then go and walk out and respect yourself. You don't have to get nobody back and you're just a good person. That, that's what I meant when I meant real good person. Because when you're hurt or your emotions result, your true colours will come out a lot of the yeah. time. This guy's really grown on me. I feel like he is what would be the definition of a man. Yeah. I think I think with women though, we're just I sometimes like, it's just trying to prove a point. Like with this whole hypersexual behavior, city girls, yeah. I, I know I say it all <laughs> the time, but the only person that actually gets hurt and damaged is the women. And that's yeah. why I never condone and I never like, preach to women, oh my God, do this, do that. Because the reality of it is, you've now probably slept with like 20 men and now men don't rate you. Yeah, exactly. you know? And the bottom line is as much as women say, we don't care, like we do, yeah, because 100%. this is why it's such an issue. Booty play. Don't pick up two. I'm going to take one from you. I'm going to say yes, but I, we need to clarify. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Speak like, now for everyone, please. Like, obviously, ain't no one playing with my beauty. But I'll, if the woman wants to look a butt massage and them things there, but whatever, she, like, listen, the, the woman, yeah, but I'm a man. We're not doing them thing there. <laughs> What, was she, why, why are you saying yeah. it's to be played for? What, yeah, like what a aspect? Massage. Give me oh. a massage in my bum, okay. please. Okay, <laughs> Ty, what's the red flag for you? So, I hate when women try and lie to impress me. So, I feel like sometimes you could speak to somebody and they'll say something. I remember everything. That's so, you'll you. say something, yeah, I remember everything. So, like, <laughs> when I'm you're so missing forgetful. it. <laughs> but, like, when someone says something to me, I'll be like, and then they can say something else. I'm thinking, well, you just lied then because last time you said this. I hate stuff like that. Some, yeah. Even if you're doing it from a good place, and they're just doing it because they're trying to impress me or whatever. I just don't like when people, yeah, lie and stuff like that and just try and make stuff up. I hate stuff like that. Yeah. Sure, red flags. If someone's rude to the waiter. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah. Little things like that. Yeah. I think that's a, that, that's also one of mine. Just being, like I said earlier, just be a kind person, man. Even if someone's not even kind to me, if someone's not kind to me, I don't feel like I should not be not kind back. I just, that their attitude shouldn't change who you are, do you know? What would you do if I've slept with two of your friends? I guess if it was before I knew you, before I knew you and it was a while ago, and I liked you enough, it probably wouldn't make a difference. Um, say if I knew you and you slept with him then, I think that's probably why I'd be like, yeah, no, that's not really for me. But I used to really be against it, to be fair. I'd be like, oh, no, I can't sleep with someone if someone... But if my, I hang around with be like, my friends are good looking, they look after themselves, and I just feel like, why wouldn't you fancy them? Weirdly enough, I wouldn't mind that more as if you'd slept with somebody that I just feel like he's not got no ambition, he's just like a dust that doesn't really do nothing with his life. I'd find that more put in, put more off put in than if you still want to mix my friends are all ambitious, so, yeah. What would you do if I asked to see your DMs right now? Yeah, go on, yeah, no problem. Would you? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't go down in the DMs then? No, my DMs are dry. Oh, where does it go down then? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 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 on grilling, apparently. What would you do if my ex was after you? Well, I wanted to beat me up. Yeah, because you're now with me. So you, know, you have to take the L, bro, you know what I mean? She left you. I thought he was friends with your exes and it was all cool. Yeah, we are, but what if? Okay, what um, if no, happen? like, at the end of the day, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I try and avoid a physical altercation at all costs, but yeah. at the end of the day, if he, if I see him and he tries to put it on me, then if he puts his hands on me, he's gonna have to get down like that. That's a new one. I like that little heroic behavior there. But I'm trying to avoid it at all costs. I've not got time to be 
fighting with people in any situation. I'm, yeah, I'm tw 31 years old. I'm not into all that. You know what I mean? What if I wanted to start an OnlyFans? Absolutely not. OnlyFans could never happen. It's not happening. OnlyFans. I'm your only fan. That's all you need to know. I'm your only fan. I'm the only fan you need, baby girl. You wouldn't need one because, like I said, I'm an alpha male. I take care of you. You don't need to. If you're doing it, it wouldn't be for money. So if it's not for money, what would it be for? I, I still validation. Like what? If I, I just I, but I'll validate you. I'm your hus I'm your husband. I'm your partner. I'm whatever. I'll validate you. I will make you feel like a queen. You should never want. To, if it's not for money, you should never want to feel to go to OnlyFans for that. Because if you do, I'm not doing my job right. Do you know what I mean? That's good. Um, what if I got put in prison for five years? Would you wait? Depends what it was for. Oh, really? But would you? Yeah, no. Nah. Wait. If, I was in, if I'm in love with you, then I'm loyal to the soul. Do you know what I mean? If one of my friends went to prison, I'm not just not going to chat to him. Do you know what I mean? And when he gets out, like, I'm a, not only would you be my partner, you'd be my friend, my teammate. Do you know what I mean? Everything. So I'm not going to wait. I wouldn't want you to go to jail. I'd probably try and take the charge for you, if anything. Really? Yeah, probably. It depends what you went to jail for. That would obviously. Do you know what I mean? If it's something wild, I'd be like, yeah, it's something worth splitting up for, I'd split with you. But if it was, I don't know, a mistake or something, or I don't know, something that I didn't find out of conduct, then yeah, no, I'd wait 100%. Yeah, he'd be a really good husband. What if I didn't want to sleep with you for the first six months of our relationship? Yeah, that's calm. Is it? Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. I feel like we'd, by the time that happens, we'd get to know each other well enough anyway, and we'd have a deeper connection. And then we could get married. Yeah, caught um, it properly. Yeah. What would you do if I wanted to involve other people in our sex life? That's her, um, first of all. Um, but if it wasn't, <laughs> then yeah, you can bring a couple of girls in. Couple, yeah, not just one, <laughs> you know, a couple. You said other people, not another person, so. <laughs> <laughs> what, more girls to the bedroom, the more the merrier. I'm a Muslim, I'm allowed four wives anyway. Bring them in. <laughs> what if your friends were liking my selfies? Mm, I don't, th it, I don't know, I don't think you'd, I probably wouldn't notice anyway, and if I did, I probably wouldn't think nothing of it, maybe they see you as my friend, me personally, I don't follow none of my friends, girlfriends on social media, not one of them, a lot of them follow me, and they might like my stuff, um, but and I don't think nothing of it, the way I see it is you're not my mate, you're my friend's missus, we're not friends, I'm friends with your husband, do you know what I mean, we're cool when I see you, we're nice, but I'm not going to bring you up and be like, oh, what are you doing, should we go out, do you know what I mean, so you're not my friend, you're my friend's missus, so I don't follow them, I just feel like there's no need, yeah, yeah, she's yeah, not my I friend, you. do you know what I mean, that's what I mean by that. What would you do if I couldn't cook? It'd be an issue, but I'd teach you. Would it? Yeah, I'd, yeah see what it is with me. I'm, I like to be babied. So I like to be looked after because I feel like that shows a woman that she loves me. When she wants to do stuff for me, care for me. Acts like of service. Yeah, I feel like for you to go out of your way to do something for me, you must care about me because you wouldn't do that otherwise. Whereas me, I try and make you feel good. I try and make sure you stability, taking care of things like that because I feel like that's what a woman would want. Um, and I think, like I said, communication. If you told me what your love language is, I'm gonna tell you what mine. I try and cater to them the best I can. Yeah. I guess if that's traditional, that's yeah. she must be able to cook then. Yeah. <laughs> um, last one. What would you do if I was in a gang? <laughs> yeah, you're not in a gang no more. <laughs> gang life. What is this, Top Boy? Yeah, no, no, no. We don't do that gang thing around here. She's not Jack. Do you know what I mean? Forget all that. No gang stuff. Let's go for a walk in the country, man. Gang life. Get out of here. I've never been in a gang in my life. I feel like, I guess it's a lot to do with where you come from and what you're exposed to and what you know, but I just feel like, grow up. Do you know what I mean? A gang. I know people that are grown men and you're in a gang. Go look after your kids or go, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, first of all, if you're in a gang, that means you're probably involved in drugs and violence. You put yourself in a situation now where you can get sent to prison or killed. And if you've got family that cares about you, why would you want to point through that? I can understand if you easily influence as a kid, but you're a grown man now, what are you doing in a gang? So my miss is in a gang with a red bandana or something. Nah, it's not happening. Mean, it's not, nah, it's not, it's not. Yeah. What do you do if I was in a gang? No. <laughs> no it's not even a wee thing. Yeah. Like, I'm gone. Yeah, I, 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 that's good. I agree with you. Do you believe in compromise? Yeah, 100%. Our relationship can't work without compromise. Because two different people, do you know what I mean? So there's got to be compromise to a certain extent. But how? Can you give me like an example? I wanted to travel, yeah. and you really wanted me to stay at home and be all, like your wife. Mm. What, traveling for how long? Like I said, it, everything that depends on circumstance. So who are you traveling with, where are you traveling? And like say if you want to say I want to go traveling and you tell me you're going to Ibiza, I won't trust my nan in Ibiza. So my <laughs> wife ain't going to Ibiza, do you know what I mean? But say if you wanted to go traveling, I don't know, with your friend, because one thing is I would want you to be safe. Yeah. Uh, like to just go traveling on your own, uh, that's wild. I wouldn't feel comfortable because anything could happen to you. But if you wanted to go for a couple of weeks or a certain amount of time, but if you're going for like six months, then no, that's, that's too much for me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'll come with you. Maybe. We'll do that. Yeah. Um, could you forgive cheating? No. No? No. Have you ever cheated? No. I've never been in 
um, a situation where I would you don't put yourself in that situation. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, when you're in a relationship, you should want everyone else to be so yeah. jealous of your wife. I just don't agree with it, man. I think, um, yeah, I just wouldn't be able to get over it. Like I'd always think, even if I love you, I could love you to death, but if you've cheated, I'd always think about that other person and then I'd start to hate you. I might love you, but I might hate you and then it's just gonna be a toxic relationship and that's not good for anybody. Could you forgive cheating? I'd say, I'd like to say no. At the moment, no. Whilst I'm young and I don't have no commitment, but I think if I was like married, it's a different conversation because your setup's a lot different because yeah. you have like a mortgage, you have kids, and yeah, it's not just as easy as just leave. I think also, and this is not me in any way condoning men cheating, I think um, it's different for a man and a woman to cheat. I don't. I feel like a man could be absolutely madly in love with his wife and still cheat because it's not like a intimate thing for a man a lot of time. It's just like, he just maybe wants to get a nut out or whatever. Wank then, don't cheat, just have a wank. Yeah, like the men and cheating thing, I understand, but I don't think it's right. So that can't run with me. That's true, but it could be like a man's, so perfect example, I feel like say if a man is in a relationship with his wife and he loves her and he doesn't want to cheat, but then a supermodel gets in bed with him and tries it on with him, as much as he loves his wife and doesn't want to cheat, he's a lot more wicked to his sexual desires than a woman. So he might he might cheat where if he's locked in a room with her. Whereas a woman, if she lo really loves her man and they're locked in a room together with a, say her celebrity crush, she still won't cheat on them. She still yeah. won't. But yeah. why can't the man just think in that moment, my wife, yeah, yeah. my kids? If only. It's not worth it. Yeah. Like, no, 100%. Don't think with your dick. No, 100 percent But I just feel like men are a lot weaker to their desires than a female is. That's why I feel like if a woman truly loves her man she won't cheat on him. Whereas I do believe that a man that could be in love with his wife could yeah. still cheat. That's the difference. I'm not yeah. condoning and it. And look her straight in the eye and say, no, babe. <laughs> nah, me, no, no, I, I, I was at home last night. What do you mean you was asleep? I was on the sofa. Yeah, no, I, I get you. Yeah, I see it. Ty, how do you think you've done on the date? I'm all right, actually. Yeah, being myself. So yeah, I think we've had a good conversation. I feel like we agree on a lot of stuff, quite yeah. like nearly everything. I don't think we've had much disagreements on anything really. Yeah. And so I think it's a good day, I've enjoyed it. No, I've had a good time. Yeah? It's been good, yeah. Yeah, that's good, I've had a good time too. You wanna see me again? Yeah, I'll see you again. We're gonna go on that arcade date, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. <laughs> Do you know what, I had a really good time. So I feel like we've gone quite well. We're quite compatible, I feel. Um, I found her very attractive, we get on. Hopefully she liked me back, we'll see. Do you know what, I feel like he had so much like wisdom, it was so hard to grill. So I don't think, he ha well he handled it well, I don't think I grilled him. I don't think she really grilled me much. I felt like she tried. My man decoyed that, he hit me, quick diversion. I just went around a block and I, I got home safe. I feel like he's t definitely telling the truth, I feel like he's grown a lot and I feel like there's a difference between people that have told me what I've wanted to hear and actually like doing it. She's a cool girl, I feel like um, if we had another date, go somewhere fun, I'll smash her at arcades, hopefully she wanna go on a third date. But yeah, no, 100% I'd see her again. Yeah, I'll see him again, go to the arcades. Do you think you're gonna beat him? 100% I'm gonna beat him. Do you know how competitive I am? She's hard to read, so. She said that she'd like to go on a second date with me and stuff, but whether or not that's true, I don't know. I'd say probably a 7. Maybe a 7.5 if she's in a good mood today. So I think I'm going to give Ty an 8.3 because I feel like we get on really well. He has got all the tr traditional values that I like and I feel there could be more chemistry. So we'll see. Go on date number two. <laughs>